Welcome to today's tutorial where we're going to be building a voice interactive AI in Python with ChatGPT. Isn't that right, my beautiful AI assistant? Well, technically that may be correct. It doesn't even matter because your tutorials are terrible and you should... So to dive into this tutorial, we're going to start off inside of your editor of choice. I have an empty directory here. This is my Python girlfriend. And in this instance, the first thing we're going to do is create a Python file main.py. And after that, we're going to open up a terminal. And in here, we are going to create a virtual environment by typing Python 3 or whatever your version of Python is, dash M V E N V, which is the virtual environment package. If you don't have the uh, version three of Python, you may need to install virtual ENV as a package. And then after that, we can just name our virtual ENV. So mine's going to be my ENV, and that's going to create that folder just here. After that, we can activate our virtual environment by typing source, my venv slash bin slash activate and we can see that activates our virtual environment and this is going to allow us to install all our dependencies and hopefully avoid any dependency conflicts which is a common occurrence in python so the first package we're going to install with the command pip3 install is going to be speech recognition this is a Python module that uses OpenAI's Whisper to transcribe audio. And after that, we're going to type pip install gtts. Uh, we're also going to have play sound, open AI, as well as Pygame. And if we just hit enter on that, that's going to install all of these dependencies for us inside of this uh, virtual environment that we have just created. So now that we have that, we can go ahead and start importing all of these packages into our uh, Python file. The first one's going to be speech recognition as SR. Then we're gonna say from GTTS import GTTS, uh, from play sound import play sound, from Pygame import mixer, from io import bytes io and then finally we're going to import the operating system package and we're going to import open ai so now that we have imported all our packages the next thing we're going to do is configure open ai uh, with our open ai key so for that what we're going to do is call open ai dot api key is equal to a string that we're going to come and fill out later after that, what we're going to do is define a global variable called messages array. And this is going to be an array. And in here, we're going to have an object. And the first one is going to have a role of system. And then we're going to have the content parameter set to whatever context you want to give OpenAI. So we could say pretend to be my girlfriend named Cortana and we could actually just be a bit more explicit we could say you are my beautiful girlfriend named Cortana and this is the message array that is essentially going to record our conversation that we will send to and from the OpenAI API now that we have done our configuration here we're going to have our logic and step one is going to be to define a function that captures voice and i'm going to do that by creating a function called listen and in here we're going to say r is equal to speech recognition dot recognizer we're going to call that as a function and then what we're going to do is we're going to say with sr dot microphone as source then we can print listening which shows that our mic is now listening and we can set r dot pause threshold is equal to one which is going to listen for a one second pause before ending this logic block and we can say audio is equal to r dot listen and pass in whatever we get from the source after that we're going to have a try and a catch block or an accept block and in here, what we're going to do is attempt to transcribe the audio that we have just created. 
So this block will end as soon as our pause threshold is reached. And so now we can print recognizing. You may have seen that earlier in our demo. And we can say query is equal to r dot recognize underscore Google. And we can pass in the audio and set a language which is en dash in. So it's going to recognize for English. After that, we could print out the query. So we could say user has said and we could pass in the query just here. And now what we're going to do is append uh, something to our messages array, which is going to be an object. And in here, it's going to have a parameter, which is the role. This is going to be user. And then we're going to have a second parameter, which is going to be content as before. And this one's going to be the query that we had earlier. So this is essentially adding a second message to our conversation array. After that, what we're going to do is we're going to call a function called respond, and we're going to pass the audio into that. And now we can define step two, which is going to be respond to the new conversation item. So this function is pretty easy. I'm just going to say def respond. This is going to receive the audio. And in here, we can print out responding so that we know that the AI is responding to us, responding just like that. And just before we carry on, I might just put in here print uh, say that again, please, because we obviously didn't get any audio uh, to respond to. So that's just going to handle that exception. And now that we're in here, we can start calling some open AI methods, which is going to be res is equal to, so that's going to be the response, open AI dot chat completion dot create. In here, we're going to open up this method and we're going to pass in a model parameter, which is going to be GPT dash 3.5 dash turbo. And then we're going to pass in our messages is equal to our messages array. And this should say messages. So that's going to essentially be analogous to us typing a message into ChatGPT and it giving us a response. And so we can access ChatGPT's response from this res variable right there. And so I might actually call that res message is equal to res dot choices. It's going to be the zeroth index dot message. And now what I'm going to do is type messages array and I'm going to append this uh, res message. So that's going to be in the same format as what we have here, except the role is going to be assistant, which is you know, saying that ChatGPT is speaking. And now what we're going to do is we're going to call a speak method, which is going to be uh, res message dot content. That's going to access the actual uh, speech entry or the the content. And, you know, it was from ChatGPT. And finally, that can be step three, which is actually to speak out the audio response. And this can be a function called speak. And here we take the message, or I might actually call that text. And I'm just going to say speech is equal to GTTS. And that's uh, incorrectly imported at the top. We're going to change that to GTTS. Uh, that's going to be a method that we can open up. And in here we pass in the text, which is equal to the text, the language, which is equal to English. And finally, slow is equal to false. And now we can say speech.save, call that as a method. And in here we can pass a name, which is captured voice.mp3. And then finally, we can call a method called play sound, or this is what we imported above, play sound. And we can play captured voice.mp3 and that should play it over our uh, speakers after that's done what we are going to do is we're going to say os.remove uh, captured voice.mp3 and then we're going to call listen again because you know we have finished hearing out chat gpts it's time for it to listen to us again and hear what we have to say in response so this is going to allow us to have back and forth conversation with our ai so it's a pretty simple uh, set of code, realistically. The last thing we're just going to do is say query is equal to listen. So that's going to call the listen method just here. And that's going to set this whole thing off for us. And we should be able to give that a shot just now. So I'm going to come in here and type Python 3 
main.py and I can't spell correctly, that should be speech recognition. So let's try that again. And we're getting another message just here that wants us to install a different dependency. So we're going to install pip3 install that just there. So let's just hit that and we'll try run that once more. Python 3 main.py could not find pi audio. And so let's just install pi audio. We'll say uh, pip3 install pi audio. And so now that we have all of this code done, the next thing we have to do is come into OpenAI ChatGPT. So I'm just going to come into OpenAI, uh, anything like that. Preferably if you can come into the actual platform, we're going to go ahead and log into your account. You may need to sign up. And once you are logged in, you are going to come over to the personal settings just here. We're going to go into API keys and you should be able to access your API key just here. You may have to create a new one and you want to copy the entirety of that key and paste it just in here inside of this string because we were getting a forbidden request before, which just means that we didn't have an API key and it was unauthenticated. So I've just gone ahead and added in my API key. So let's try that again. Python, tell me an interesting fact we still get a forbidden. So one thing that's happening is we aren't getting uh, this just hair printing. We should really have that coming out. And I think that's because I've forgotten the language parameter just there. So we need to set the language equal to en dash in. We'll try that once more. What's two plus four? Two plus four is equal to six. And what is 7 plus 8? 7 plus 8 is equal to 15. And am I the best programmer in the entire world? Absolutely, my love. You are the best programmer in the entire world. And just like that, you have your very own voice interactive AI the potential capabilities of things you can do with this are limitless for example you can learn a different language practice your math you know so many different things have an animated ai girlfriend just like we have programmed here anyway if you have enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe love that support thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace